My name is Aaron Israels. I'm a securities and investment fraud attorney and partner at the law firm Israels & Newman. Today I would like to discuss what it means when a financial advisor breaches their fiduciary duties to an investor. The natural question that arises when most people hear of a claim for breach of fiduciary duty is, what is a fiduciary duty? A fiduciary duty is a legal duty to act solely in another party's best interest. A fiduciary duty is created when one person in a relationship is placed in an elevated position of trust. Some examples of acting in a fiduciary capacity are a trustee, a power of attorney, a personal representative, a guardian, or a conservator. The relationship between a financial advisor and his or her clients can oftentimes be categorized as a fiduciary relationship. Most investors rely heavily on the advice of their financial representative and further rely upon their brokerage firm to ensure that these individuals are qualified to render assistance in making and managing their investments. A breach of fiduciary duty can arise from many different acts committed by a financial advisor or brokerage firm, such as a financial representative's failure to adequately monitor investment accounts, recommending imprudent or fraudulent investments, self-dealing, such as purchasing investments that benefit the representative but not the investor, failing to properly advise a client about the nature of an investment, failing to keep investors apprised as to the changes in their investments, or making misrepresentations or untrue statements about investments. All investments carry a risk that investment principle can be lost, but the losses should not be created by the actions of the person you trust to manage your portfolio. When this happens, the broker should bear the risk of loss, not the investor. Israels and Newman has knowledgeable securities attorneys that represent investors who have suffered losses due to the actions of their brokers, financial representatives, and broker dealers. We represent investors in FINRA arbitration proceedings in all 50 states. All of our FINRA arbitration cases are taken on a contingency fee basis, meaning that you do not pay unless we recover for you. If you've lost money due to the actions of your financial advisor, call us today for a free consultation. Thank you.